first thing I want to talk about is the um, well, both the inter, you know, uh, I guess you just had the same experience as far as the uh, <laughs> looking, at, looking at, the, at the creek. And uh, it was very educational, super educational, just to see, and also just to see what flood bolting is doing to try to uh, do what they can. But I you know, also came away with the conviction we don't have to wait for some of these other governments to get off their duff and do some things. We can do some things ourselves. If we can't do the whole problem, we can't do engineering, we can't do a lot of it. But I think we can find ways to suck up some of that water and make sure it doesn't go upstream, downstream, whatever we're going to do. You know, and, and we talked a lot about that on uh, Sunday and just kicking some ideas back and forth without knowing everything about it. But I, I do think, you know, we talked about a lot of things and um, I don't know, you know, honestly, we're far, how much farther along we are from a long time ago because, you know, a long time ago we used to hear about the same things. Well, they're, t they're studying it, there's planning, there's this. You know, the proof is in the pudding and I don't know where we are with that. So um, I think we have to do what we can ourselves to try to alleviate some of the <coughs> situations. Certainly having an advocacy group like <coughs> Bolthian is just a, a big plus that we didn't have before, so that's good. underselling the low and we are and uh, just to make a point that recently happened um, the one place you left out was Palomino who, oh, just, sorry. Yeah, definitely. who is just the fourth restaurant to be regionally recognized along with two of them that are nationally recognized I mean Tilly Park doesn't have two restaurants that have been regionally recognized let alone four I mean, this is fantastic and we shouldn't we shouldn't undersell the low we should do it we should promote it as much as possible because there are some big things for it. But uh, yeah, raise, raise our sights. I want to talk. Raise our sights a little bit. Yes. Thank you. To continue a little bit on Don's comments about the uh, uh, his flood tour, I had my own today, and it was uh, it was a great experience. I um, was able to travel. Uh, not very far from my own front door and see some things that I have never seen in the last 14 years. Uh, amazingly, amazingly um, the size of the, uh, what's the right term, is it the, the outfall of the water that we get in the mm -hmm. from Oak Forest. The aftermath, we could it's still there. play chicken and walk through that tunnel underneath Cicero. And so the size of what comes at us versus where it goes to is, is, is crazy. Um, I also, you know, we were able to tour some other spots as well today um, and see some of the work that was done last Sunday, which was great. Um, I had been by there the week previously, and it's, uh, it looks like a completely different uh, uh, place in some of these locations on Colmar. Um, the location we were at today, I was able to look up how it on the symbol map. It is one specific parcel. The whole uh, lot, the whole chunk. Owned by one person. Uh, and I tried to print it out before the meeting, but I was not put up to the right printer, so I will get that to you, but, and then also to Don, because that's potentially Is it Midlothian? The site. It has a mailing address in Oak Forest, but I <laughs> want to actually get the bill, which I think Trustee Christ can help me with. Yes, I can. My understanding <laughs> from living there is that that's actually unincorporated in Cook County. Okay. Um, that particular parcel. The gentleman who owns it has a mailing address in Oak Forest, in the incorporated Oak Forest, but there's two years of unpaid taxes on it, and it's about um, the county tax site only lists square footage. It was about 111,000 square feet, which, according to the calculator I found, was about 2.6 acres. So it's a fairly decent size. There's a lot of trash there that we saw today. Um, but it's in the right spot, I think, to be considered to be helpful. So I'll get that information to you and to, uh, to Don. Um, 